Hey everybody, Nick here, also known as The Bearded Housewife, and welcome to another card making video. Today I have a really easy St. Patrick's Day card for you. This is my Lucky Layered card. Now I've used some foam squares to kind of pop out that sentiment layer there, but isn't that so cute and so simple? On the inside is a spot for your message. And of course I include an envelope as well. Now this card can be made on any other Cricut cutting machines. If you're going to use a Cricut Joy, the only thing that you're going to need is a pre-made card base and envelope as well. It's super simple to put together and I can't wait to show it to you. Before we get started, make sure to hit like and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any card making fun. And with that, let's get to it. Step 1. Get the free SVG cut file. Okay, here we are at my blog, thebeardedhousewife.com. If you're not a member of the Crafters Club, you can go ahead and click sign up. You'll be brought to a page with all of our different membership tiers. We have free, monthly, and annual memberships. You can go ahead and click, you can go ahead and choose whichever option is right for you. But for now, I'm going to head to the sign in tab. I'll go ahead and put in my credentials and log in. And now we're logged into our account. To find the file library, you can head up to the main navigation bar under the files tab and click file library. And then you're brought to all the files. For this project, you're going to want to look for number 165, that is the Lucky Layered card. Go ahead and click the download button and download the file to your computer. Make sure to unzip the file and then we can open up Cricut Design Space. Step 2. Upload the design to Cricut Design Space. Now that we're in a new project in Cricut Design Space, we can go ahead and click Upload upload image and browse find where we downloaded the file onto our computer make sure that we're selecting the SVG file and click open and upload highlight the image and click add to canvas step 3 convert score lines in any text Now that the file has been brought into our canvas, we can go ahead and ungroup the design. We have a few things that we need to convert here, so let's scroll down the layers panel and find the envelope. Highlight the score line, come up to the operation menu and change that to score. Highlight the group and attach. We need to do the same thing for the card base, so scroll down the layers panel, find the card base, highlight the score line, change that to score. Highlight the group and attach. And lastly, we need to convert this text. We want the machine to draw it on for us. So let's scroll down and find the text. Come up to the operation menu and change that to pen. I'm going to change the color here to a green color. Highlight the group and attach. Once the envelope and card base score lines are converted and then the text is converted to pen, you can go ahead and click make it. I'm going to be using the mats for this project. And you'll see the different mats for this card. Go ahead and click continue. I'm going to be using a variety of medium cardstock for this card. I'll go ahead and get everything cut out and I'll see you when it's time to assemble. Step 4. Cut out the design. Step 5 Assemble your card. Okay, now that everything's been cut out, it's time to go ahead and start to assemble. So I'm going to first layer up the front cover panel. We have our mat, we have our pattern paper, and then we have our sentiment layer. So everything gets layered on top of each other. I'm going to actually use foam squares to pop out the sentiment layer just a little bit to give it some more dimension up against the pattern paper. I'm going to speed up the video just a little bit while I go ahead and do that. Like. 
All right, and there is our front cover panel. You can see how that the foam squares kind of add some nice dimension there. I'm going to go ahead and set that to the side. Let's go ahead and mat and layer our messaging panel. And set that to the side for just a moment. We can go ahead and take our card base and fold and burnish along the score line. Open up the card base and go ahead and add our messaging panel to the inside of the card. And we can close that up and add our front cover panel to the front of the card. And there we have our card. Isn't that cool? A great way to use up any pattern paper that you have. I'm going to go ahead and set that to the side and show you how to make the envelope really quick. For the envelope, I just used good old plain white cardstock because I wanted that green to really pop out well. So we're going to go ahead and fold and burnish along the score line. I'm going to add our glue to the envelope flap. And now take our inlay and place that over the envelope flap. Spin the envelope around and bring those side flaps in. Add your glue to the bottom of those side flaps. And with your thumbs, go ahead and push up and press. And that forms our fun little envelope. And our card is all set. How easy was this card? I love that you can use your different scrap papers for this card. I hope that you like this one and I hope that you make it. If you do make it, make sure to post it in our Facebook group. We have thousands of crafty friends who love to motivate and support each other and we would love to see your creations. There's a link down below for you to check it out. Until next time, I'm Nick, I'm the Bearded Housewife and I'll see you at the next card making video. Bye.